We're fifth graders from Oil Park School, and we did Elijah's documentary. Our names are Wyatt, Chloe, Lexi, Robbie, Peter, Leilani, Oscar, Jurgis, Christina, Ethan. And our project is important because it helps build relationships and it helps us understand each other. We're so excited to share Elijah's story with you. I would say Elijah, in three words, would be cute, uh, active, and affectionate. He's really good about just showing how caring he is. Uh, and, you know, I think in general, he's great at dancing or just, you know, jumping around, having fun. He knows when to have fun and enjoy the simple things. I think that's what I love about him the most is enjoying the simple things. I would say Elijah's favorite activity would probably have to be climbing. He, I would say a close second would probably be running. <laughs> Couldn't find it in your eyes, but I'm sure it's written all over my face. He's affectionate because he ran with us. He is caring because he would hug us when we had to leave. He is also playful because he runs, climbs, and jumps with when us. I see we made it through. Next to me. She likes to run outside and play with puzzles. Elijah was our first child, so when we first brought him home, it was just in a dream. I mean, we were. <laughs> Very excited. We are emotional. It was it was a beautiful experience. He was it was a tough delivery, <laughs> um, but he was just a complete joy. We were very very excited. Shake 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 shake. Do you like the ball? Elijah's official diagnosis is autism spectrum disorder, so um, we don't know exactly where he is on the spectrum since it's, he's too young for that, um, but that is his diagnosis for now. If he gets really frustrated about something, he can calm down and he's okay if we, um, you know, talk to him and, and so he doesn't have tantrums or anything like that. So I think he has a really um, good way of, of uh, addressing that and, and, you know, the mild manner that he has. is when um, Elijah high-fived me. All day, Elijah was so excited and jumping around and running. Before Elijah came, I was nervous and happy at the same time. I think the biggest challenge that Elijah faces is probably just being able to talk, being able to communicate. He communicates in his own way. Um, Which one do you like? A rectangle. When we were playing with Elijah, we had to adapt because when we brought out all the toys, all he wanted to do was run and jump. Well, it was really fun. Elijah had some ups and downs at that point. He fell, but we tried to help him get off the side. Well, and then he fell. 
I'm a new soul. I came to this strange world, hoping I could learn a bit. I think uh, my definition of friendship is somebody who's there for you uh, during the good times and bad, uh, who's you know happy to pat you on the back when you're doing something great and is able to spend time with you and have fun, but a person who's also there for you when you're sad and could really use a hug. Three words to describe a good friend is caring, compassionate, and kind. Friendship is like when somebody you like will get you through the tough times and when you're sad they'll make you laugh and feel better. Friendship is when you hang out with someone a lot, laugh with them a lot, and have fun with them. I don't want this fidget spinner and I don't want to hug. What do you like to do with Elijah? Uh, sharing snacks with him. The Nora Project is important to me because it teaches me uh, how to be uh, kind to whoever I meet. As I thought about how to answer this question on why the Nora Project is so important, I came up with a lot of reasons. I think it really gives an opportunity for everyone to look inside the lives of these children and these families and understand that no matter what, the things that they need most of all is our love and support. <laughs>